Hey guys, welcome to Philips Garage. Just a quick how-to video on how to enable the new RX480 and the R9 Fury uh, in OS X Sierra. Um, you're going to want to boot up holding the option key um, and go find the hard drive uh, that has recovery-10.12. Um, just hit enter. And this will take you to um, the back end of uh, OSX where we're going to need to jump into terminal um, and disable security protocol that allows us to edit uh, the KEX in um, OSX. Okay, so once we get into uh, this screen, we're going to want to jump up the top to the utilities tab up here uh, and open up terminal. Okay, so once terminal's up, you're going to want to type in the following. I will have um, a, a how-to uh, in text in the description, so just jump down there, um, so you can copy and paste uh, the following. So it's C S R U T I L disable. Uh, we're going to hit enter, and it'll let you know that you have successfully successfully disabled system integrity protection. Uh, please restart the machine for the changes to take effect. So we simply go to the top corner, hit restart. Okay, once inside uh, the operating system, you're going to want to open Finder. You're going to want to find Drive, go to System, Library, and we're going to need to find Extensions. So once we're in extensions, we need to find <coughs> the text file associated to those um, cards, and that's the AMD Radon X4000 text. You're going to want to right click, Oop. right click, and I'm going to go show package contents. I'm going to find the contents and then find the info P list. <coughs> You're going to want to copy the P list. Paste it on your desktop. Uh, you're going to want to duplicate this. <coughs> and we're going to keep the original uh, on the desktop just in case. We're going to open this with text edit. Okay, so as we open it, just under the AMD Baffin Graphics Accelerator, it's under this key. We're going to go down and we're going to find this string. Uh, and these are the device IDs of the cards that are currently in, the, cur the cu current Polaris cards that are inside Sierra. Um, and to enable the RX480, we're going to go to the first string, which is here. And it's a 67E01002. And all we're going to have to do for the RX480 is change that to a D. And it's as simple as that. Um, in the description below, I'll have the device ID for the R9 Nano. Um, it's a different device ID, but the same thing applies. You're just going to change the first three or four letters to have that um, enable your R9 Fury. Um, we're just going to go ahead and save that. Close it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to drop that into the folder. Um, we're going to authenticate it and we're going to replace it. And it's as simple as that. And then just as you do that, just double check that it does match the device ID that you've entered. Okay, so once you've done the P list, um, you're going to want to open Kext Wizard. Um, I'll give you a link down in the description. Um, if that does come up, just open it in Finder. Um, downloads. Just right click and open. Uh, 
and then we're just going to tick system library and extensions. We're going to make sure the target disk is our operating system disk and we're just going to hit execute. Uh, enter your password. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, restart and install the RX480 and I'll see you when we're back. Okay, we're back. So um, all we're going to need to do is check if it's working. Um, yep, so we have the graphics card here showing. Um, due to the fact that the graphics card isn't actually inside OS X, it won't actually tell you what it is. But currently, you can see I have an, R, an RX 480 with 8GB RAM. Um, I'll be back with some benchmarks comparing the 7950 against the R and RX 480. Um, so uh, that video will be up soon. Thanks for watching.